Hey, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today we've got a really, really quick tip on a coolant loss problem that we're dealing with on a 2010 Ford Fusion Sport with a 3.5 liter V6. But this problem can really happen to a lot of different engines out there, not just this 3.5 liter. And the problem is we have a consistent coolant loss. The customer would, would put coolant into the reservoir, but no drips on the ground, no smoke out of the tailpipe, no sweet coolant burning smell from the coolant hitting something hot under the hood. You know, all those normal places where you would get a coolant leak, none of them are happening. It's like the coolant is disappearing on there. If you're fortunate enough to have a pressure tester, go ahead and test the system and verify that it's leaking. This one is definitely leaking. And one of the areas that is commonly overlooked is the ability for coolant to leak into the crankcase. Now, when I say that, I mean the coolant is leaking into where the oil would be sitting in the engine, which means it can mix up with the oil and cause an overfull condition. And what causes that typically is a water pump starting to fail. See on this 3.5 liter and many other engines that are timing chain driven today, they are running a water pump that's driven by that timing chain. Well, that timing chain is sitting within the oiling system of the engine. And if that water pump starts to leak, it'll drip that coolant inside of the engine, inside of the crankcase and mix up with the oil. So when we check the oil level on here, you can see that the engine oil here is over full. It's also got a funny color to it, right? It doesn't exactly look like nice clean engine oil, even though the oil change sticker on here shows it has not been changed that long ago. It should look a lot cleaner than this. It's almost got a milky color to it. And that's not uncommon for when coolant and oil start to mix together, they get this milky, almost chocolate milk color to them. This is a problem long term for the engine because you're changing the viscosity of the oil. You're changing its lubrication principles within the engine. You could run into bearing issues or those types of things. So if you're dealing with a coolant loss issue and it's not dripping on the ground and it's not being burned inside of the engine, it's not burning off by leaking externally of the engine, make sure to check that engine oil dipstick and make sure that you're not dealing with an internal crankcase leak of the coolant like this 3.5 behind me. This can be a long-term problem for the engine. Get it fixed or take it somewhere to get it fixed as soon as possible. All right, so I hope you guys really like this quick tip from us today. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure to check us out on our social media channels already so you can stay up to date with the newest things coming from GoTech. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And as always, happy wrenching, everyone. Thank you.